Hey guys, in this video we're going to discuss all about the best VS Code extensions for HTML, CSS and also JavaScript. Those extensions I've been using inside my VS Code editor. So I'm going to share with you the each extension and how does work it. So let's get started. First of all, you need to visit the, uh, just a minute, extension. You need to install the live server extension. It is very important and very helpful extension that will help us to uh, display the data without reloading the page. You need to install it. I have installed inside my VS Code editor. So we don't need to install it. Once you install it, then I'm going to show you how to work it. So I, I use that. So um, best VS Code extension for HTML, CSS and also JavaScript. Once you save it and you can open that, right click it with the help of live server. Right now as you can see, open with live server. Right now, this is a text. When you will change anything else, just like uh, this one, save. You don't need to reload the page. This is called live server extension. So let's move on the next extension. The next one is auto rename tag. So I'm going to use auto rename tag, right? It is very important and very helpful. You need to install it. Once you install it, then let's say I want to change H2 to a dare. So just write dare. The closing tag automatically has been closed. Once you use another tag like form, something like that, as you can see. So this is the second one extension. The third one extension is and tally sans mm, CSS uh, like this one. It is very important to write the CSS, then it will give you the hands of the each class. If you use the boot step, so you can get this one result inside your VS Code Editor. So I have been using that. So uh, you can check out now, right? So let's move on the next one. This is a very important extension, prettier. Write the prettier like that and like this one you need to install it once you install that then you need to configure it so how you can configure it so just right click in your file and select the uh, format document so i have been selecting that the default is a uh, period here but you have a uh, html language so you need to select it once you select it, done. Let's say I will use div like this one div. I'm gonna rearrange the div. Once I save it, it has automatically arranged each code inside the VS Code. So this is called prettier extension. So let's move on the next extension. The next one is color highlights. Just like that, and install it. Once you install it, then let's say, this time I don't have a style.css inside there, but let's say I will create it. Inside that I'm gonna use. Once you add the color, then you are able to see the particular color has been appeared inside there. So this is a call, color extension, right? Let's say I will use color like right so this is a cool extension as well you can use it right so i'm gonna undo that the next extension is path intelligence so path intelligence right like or like this one so it will give us the hint of the particular path right now as you can see this is a demo of the uh, extension so let me give you how you can add it. So let's say inside this one document, I'm going to add the demo.js file. So I'm going to escape. So I see like this one, as you can see. 
so it will coming from your path intelligence extension so let's move on the next extension the next one is java escape esx code snip it will help you to display the code snip inside the js so you must be install it i don't need to add any uh, example on that just uh, install it the next and very important extension is Kyoka, like this one so you need to install it no uh in a minute i have installed the extension name is like this one Kyoka. just a minute it is very important and very helpful extension so you need to install it once you install it and i'm going to show you how this extension is work so i go to my demo.js inside that have an um, object first of all i open the object in my handler like this one sad and i have a page in a minute i'm gonna open that okay i don't need to display anything else because it is a js file right but i want to display these content inside the vs code editor so what i need to do i need to execute the the extension like this one kyoka so i need to just a minute i need to use Control shift p and you need to use kyoka start on current file once you install it then you have a complete object details inside the vs code editor right now as you can see color red wheels engine and something like that let's say i want to get the color i just use color and you have a color let's say i want to execute another object inside the object so just like that and my another object details appear inside the output and also in this uh center of the line in the state of the line beside that right it is also very helpful extension you can install it so let's move on the next extension is icons that i have been using so i need to use material material theme icon like uh, this one you need to install it and once you install it then you need to select the file and where it is uh, just a minute just a minute i'm gonna check it where it is extension theme and select the color theme and by the way this is the monokai pro but have uh, in a minute uh, file icon theme you need to select that and right now as you can see material theme icon it's been selected in the default you have a uh, like this one icons right now this one but you need to select the file icon and material icon right so this is called material icon theme last and final theme is extension is monokai pro this is a current theme that i have been using as a monokai pro it is paid theme but you can use it as a free so i'm going to use mono kai pro like this one so this is the extension you can use it and just like a similar you can select the once you install it go to settings theme color theme and something like this one you need to select it mono kai pro and last and final step is my fonts it is very important right more than people they are facing problems to change the fonts in our pc have a default different type of fonts but i can't change the another fonts inside the vs code editor that i have liked right so what you need to do to change the fonts inside the vs code editor something like this one so step number one you need to get the fonts and install the font inside your pc so let's say i like the uh, fonts when I add google based uh, vs code fonts i want to use fonts and i'm going to open this one website and just like uh, here 
let's say I want to use this one website uh, this one fonts fill a code so it is similar like me or you can uh, use another fonts you can get the fonts I use your code and use it code download for free once you use it then you need to get the fonts from there github.com you need to open it once you open it and scroll down you need to download this one zip file inside your PC so I'm gonna get that just a minute just a minute I'm gonna um, create a folder inside my desktop paste it right click it and extract the folder so inside that I have a ttf so you need to get the complete fonts copy it and select the command prompt use fonts and you need to paste the complete form. I already installed that, so we don't need to install it. Just you need to paste all of the fonts. Once you install the fonts, in a minute. Stop. Once you install the fonts, then you need to go on your VS Code editor and select the settings and select the fonts and change the fonts like Fira Cut. Right? So those are settings and extensions that I have been using inside my VS Code editor. So I hope you are in interested in these extension and I hope you like this one video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day guys.